Okay. Can you hear me now, ma'am? Can you hear yeah. me? Fine. Yes, better, yes. Okay. So actually, there are many students, ma'am. I think I can. I will try to turn the lab. So there are many students, and you are online mode. So these are the students. Everyone, say good morning to ma'am. Good morning, everyone. All right. Oh. Yeah. We can start the session, ma'am. We'll start. All right. All right. So I'm going to share my screen. Have you given me the right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You can share the screen. Uh, so, uh, good morning, everyone. I wanted to be with you physically there, uh, but uh, due to certain circumstances, I'm not able to be there. But I promise definitely whenever I'll be there in Chandigarh, I'll make it a point to come and see you all in person. So without wasting much time, uh, uh, I would like to I would like to start the session. Uh, uh, can you see my screen moving? Uh, slides changing. So I think uh, you. Uh, yes, ma'am. Please go to next slide, ma'am. We'll see. Next slide. Can you change the slide, ma'am? We can see. Uh, the... I'm, uh, right now, on my display, the uh, screen is in India every six minutes. No, ma'am. They are not changing. We are. We can see okay. only heroes wanted act now. Act now, gift. Okay, act. this is the only slide. Oh, okay. Uh, how can I do it now? Wait, uh, let me stop share and I'll share again. Or uh, new share. Okay. Can you see it now? No, ma'am. Uh, it's on the screen, you know, no, not yet? Yes, yes, we can see, ma'am. Uh, Amita Bachchan and some. Okay. Yeah, correct. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, uh, fine. Uh, so good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Anuradha, and my colleague Amit is there, uh, who will be interacting with you physically. So uh, in today's session, I'll be mainly talking about Datri and how we are working at Datri. But Datri is we call at Datri we call our donors as superheroes or heroes, because uh, you know we call uh, Mr. Bachchan, Rashmi Khan sir. You know all these guys, right? And Wonder Woman, Superwoman. We we call them as superheroes because uh, they they save so many people's life. But we all of us know that they are they have the superpowers to save some many lives is on screen. They do not have the real uh, life powers. But you know you can be a superhero in someone's life in a real life, and to be a superhero in someone's life. You need to seize the moment. That is, when you have an opportunity to donate your blood stem cells, please come forward and donate and be a superhero in someone's life. So that's why we are here to awaken the hero within you. So uh, as I have already shared with you, some of uh, you might have attended the session. So in India, every six minutes, somebody is diagnosed with blood cancer, and uh, yearly, about 135,000 people are affected with blood disorders, and unfortunately, 30% are out of them, 30% are children. And this is, I'm talking about the malignant blood disorders. Non malignant blood disorders are not counted in this, but uh, to share one of the uh, non malignant disease figures is around 15,000 children are born in India every year with thalassemia major. Other, I'm not talking about the other non malignant disease, but India has the highest burden of thalassemia in the world. That is, we have the highest number of thalassemic children in India, and therefore, we have the highest number of thalassemia carrier population in the world. So, uh, thalassemia is preventable, as all of I have been discussing. Thalassemia can be prevented if two thalassemia minor people does not get married. And uh, before getting married, you should get yourself tested for thalassemia minor so that at the time of marriage, you can ensure if you are thalassemia major, minor, then your partner is not 
so as to prevent thalassemia major in the future generation so please be sure uh, being a medical lab technology students i expect this from you that you get yourself tested for thalassemia minor uh, so as we have been uh, discussing throughout uh, the number of sessions uh, the permanent cure for this disease is the blood stem cell transplant or we used to call it bone marrow transplant earlier so uh, let us understand what is uh, bone marrow transplant so most of you all know we have a spongy tissue in our long bone thigh bone and the hip bone where is where this blood stem cells are produced and they stay there for about 100 to 120 days and they are matured and then classified either as the white blood cells red blood cells and platelets and uh, for a person suffering from blood uh, disorder their faulty blood stem cells are replaced with the healthy blood stem cells of a donor and that is how the blood stem cell transplant can give a second chance at life to a patient suffering from the blood disorders so uh, you have gone through all this thing but just to give you a brief anemia is very common in female in india is low level of red blood cells or we call it as the low hemoglobin levels leukemia is high level of uh, unhealthy white blood cells meaning uh, the white blood cells divide themselves uncontrollably and uh since they are not mature enough uh, to know at what is their job in the system when infection attacks with uh, uh, the patients uh, have very keen chance of survival so these patients have to undergo blood stem cell transplant as a permanent cure sickle cell disease as you know is again uh, genetically passed on uh, uh, non malignant blood disorder wherein the shape of the red blood cell is of of a sickle shape so at both the ends this is point the cells are pointed and when they flow through the blood cell, uh, blood vessel they poke on the wall of the blood cell, blood vessel and that's why this children have severe body pain and again the permanent cure is the blood stem cell transplant thalassemia as we have been discussing it is uh, it is abnormal hemoglobin uh, production or we say it the life of red blood cells in this patient is of 20 to 25 days only whereas in a normal person the life of red blood cells for that matter any blood cell is 100 to 120 days and uh, after 100 to 120 days the cells get replaced by the new one old one die their natural death but in thalassemic children the red blood cells dies within uh 22 25 days and therefore the children have to undergo blood transfusions every 22 25 days and myeloma is another malignant blood disorder which is of the cancerous plasma cells so these are some of the blood disorders for which the permanent cure is the blood stem cell transplant these are just few of these uh, diseases actually there are hundreds plus blood disorders which are treatable through blood stem cell transplant i will share the list with vamsi sir so for your knowledge you are interested in you can collect it from vamsi sir so as i said during blood stem cell transplant uh, the patient receive healthy blood stem cells from the donor and for a donor to be able to donate his or her blood stem cells the hla typing report must match there is only 25% chance that donor patient get a uh, matching donor within the family So for those who do not find the answer is mud we call it as mud the it is acronym the full name is matched unrelated donor transplant wherein the donor does not have any blood relationship with the patients and this uh, uh, donors are found in registries like datri all over the world like datri there are 130 registries and more than 39 million donors have registered and as i had shared with you earlier also the first mud transplant had happened in 1973 in uk where uh, 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 the first registry such registry of the world had started named anthony nolan it was uh, given the name behind uh, on the name on the name of the patient anthony nolan who was 5 years old was suffering from blood cancer and who did not find a donor 
also his mother decided to start such registry to help many more such patients and that's how the first registry anthony nolan came uh, i mean it was started and since then uh, like there there are 130 registries across the world and in india first matched unrelated donor transplant through datri had happened in 2011 so why do we while we have 130 registries across the world and why do we need to have such registry in india so ethnicity plays a major role meaning uh, uh, within the same ethnicity or for example to be more precise if a patient is from punjab then the chances are more that the uh, patient will find the donor from punjab for example if the patient is from rajasthan There are greater chances that a patient will find donor from Rajasthan. So ethnicity is very important in finding the unrelated matched donors, and that's why we need such registry in India to help the Indian patient. And uh, like even within the same ethnicity, as you can see on the screen, uh, like probability of finding the matched donor is one in ten thousand to one in a million. Meaning. For one patient, we have to recruit uh, average one lakh donors, and then only we are able to find a match for the patient. So uh, I'll share the figures uh, with Datri, uh, with the, uh, of Datri who have registered with uh, our registry as a donor. But Datri was founded in 2009, March 2009. March 3, 2009 is the exact date of birth of Datri. so this year we are celebrating 15 years of our ex existence and this whole month is we are celebrating uh, the uh, starting of datri and under which we are doing various events uh, i would request amit afterwards to share about the volunteer uh, uh, competition is also going on so uh, amit will share the details with you i'll share the link of uh, the uh, competition with one seeker so if you are interested in you can uh, participate in the event and uh, send a chance to win uh, the goodies uh, from tatri so uh, but coming back to the uh, starting of tatri tatri was established by rajku rajgopal uh, who was working as a software engineer in usa and there they lost a friend's fiance to blood cancer uh, and because they did not find a donor for that uh, patient so realizing the need of having such registry for indian patients raghu decided to come back to india and start datri so that is how datri came into existence and um, i have registered myself with datri in the very first drive of datri as i have already shared you uh you know uh, unfortunately like we we have the highest number of young population in india and unfortunately we have the least number of people registered with us as a blood stem cell donor so uh i would like request i would like to re request all of you that you register with datri as a voluntary blood stem cell donor as well as inspire others to register with us as a donor if they cannot participate in such uh, awareness sessions they can go online and register with datri as the voluntary blood stem cell donor so so far we have registered more than 547000 donors with us and we have been able to save only 1309 patients till date so uh, this is because of the ratio 1 in 10000 to 1 in a million so more number of donors we have we will be able to have find more matches and we will be able to see more patients like till as of today we have more than 2500 patients with us who are waiting uh, for finding their matched donors in fact <coughs> i have already shared some of the patient pictures with you and now we have two more patient uh, with us one of them is from haryana uh, so i'll talk about her later on when we come to that slide but 
this is what we have done at Datri till date. And uh, the areas of work, if I talk about Datri, then we do, we conduct awareness sessions and we do register uh, the voluntary blood stem cell donors with Datri. We do the HLA typing, maintain the database and uh, find, try to find a match for a patient, not only in India, outside India also, that is across the globe, we are trying to help the patient. Once the donor is found, match donor is found, we counsel the donor, then we facilitate the master health checkup. Following to that, the mobilization process of stem cells. Once the mobilization is over, the donation happens. And once the donation is completed, we make the blood stem cells reach to the patient's location. And after, once the donation is over, we do follow up with the patients and we do follow up with the donors as well. Uh, and we keep informed about the patient's progress to the donor as well. So, uh, and we are associated with all the 130 registries across the world. And we follow the guidelines set by World Marrow Donor Association or WMDA Association. And um, this is how, like, this is all what we do at Dati. So, uh, we are working on Pan India level. Our head office is in Chennai. And as I said, we are associated with all the registries across the world. So, the registration process. Uh, give me a moment. Uh, a moment. Sorry for the interruption. Uh, so this is how we do registration process. Uh, so first you need to attend the awareness session, understand what is blood stem cell donation, why it is required and for whom it is required. Uh, so following to that, you need to fill up an application form, uh, which is uh, like, which contains uh, the your contact information and the consent form. Consent form is not a legal binding. This is because like, uh, we uh, we want to ensure that you have understood the donation process completely and whenever required, you will come forward and do the donation. Since this is completely a voluntary process, so consent form is not a legal binding. You need to be between 18 to 50 years of age and we will uh, collect your cheek cells from buccal cavity and we'll seal it in a cover and send it to the histogenetic laboratory where your HLA typing will be done. You need not to pay any amount for from students. We are not charging any amount. But yes, we do definitely charge uh, money from uh, the corporates so as to support our organization. And once the HLA typing will be done, your report will be stored in our database.
so this is uh, our registration process this is the form that you need to fill up and those are the swaps using which we will collect your cheeses so uh, vamsi sir i would request uh, all the students to do this at, at their own because they are all mlt students so i know that they are like familiar with the process so but otherwise amit is there with the volunteer so if required he'll be sub he'll be there to support sure ma'am sure ma'am is yeah thank you uh, and uh, this is the online registration process those who do not want to fill up the form we would be rather happy that you register online uh, amit will explain you the process what is to be done then uh, making the match process so uh, whenever there is a patient who is in need of a blood stem cell transplant the doctor gets the hla typing done of the family first no match found then the relatives that is maternal uncles and aunts paternal uncles and aunts and in some cases we get the hla typing done of the first cousins and if still no match is found in those then they approach registries like datri to find a match and in datri if a donor is found to be a match with a patient a datri counselor will call the donor counsel the donor and if donor agrees for the donation and is in general good health condition uh the donation will happen so this is how the 10 by 10 match report will look like uh so samyukta was 9 year old i mean uh, when she would have been diagnosed with thalassemia she must have been good uh, at very young age but uh, when she underwent transplant she was 9 years old and uh, bipin gupta from bangalore was found to be a man bipin donated his blood stem cells to samyukta now samyukta is living absolutely normal life so uh, at the hla type but you for hla matching we use a b c d r and q loci as we have already uh, discussed in the previous session d a d b d c d r and t q uh, the all the loci will be uh, matched and if complete matches found then only the thalassemia patients are considered for mud transplant for malignant diseases depending on the urgency even if the donor has nine uh, the patient match rank between the donor and the patient is 9 by 10 doctors go ahead with the uh, transplant process even i have seen a successful case with 8 by 10 match also so it depends on uh, which loci is mismatch or uh, is this decision is taken by the patients only and uh, then only they go ahead with the uh, blood stem cell donation process preferably the blood group of the donor and the patient should be uh, same but even if there is mismatch between the blood group but HLA is completely matching is hundred percent match. We can go ahead with the donation process as we had discussed in one of the sessions. So this is uh, once you a donor is found to be a match, we do the HLA typing again just to ensure that this is the donor who has become a match with the patient. So we call at last we call it as the verification typing or confirmatory typing. Once this report is received, we do. the uh, parallelly once the sample for the verification typing is collected parallel uh, we start the pre screening of the donor wherein we do complete health check up which includes some laboratory testing and some imaging testing following to that the physical meeting with the doctor uh, or at the uh, hospital where the donation will happen so wherever the donor is staying we try to find a nearest partner hospital of datri and we call that donor to that place for punjab we have partnership with cmc ludhiana so whoever is found to be a match in punjab rajasthan himachal jammu and kashmir and even in up up to saharanpur we call all the donors to cmc ludhiana where the donation happens so once the blood tests are reports are available basic body imaging test of the donor will be done that is x ray ecg echocardiogram and abdominal ultrasound to ensure the general good health condition of the donor and after that the uh, hematologist at the, at our partner hospital will examine the donor and if doctor says okay we go ahead with the donation process so next is the mobilization uh, for 5 days 
as all of you are aware mobilization is uh, used or gcsf injection is administered for two purpose number one it will increase the count of blood stem cells in your bone marrow number two because of this injection this blood stem cells will be released from the bone marrow and will be available in the peripheral blood and once uh, on the day five we call the donor to the same partner hospital and the donation will happen in the same way as the platelet donation happens for dengue patient or for you you are aware of the technical term apheresis process so as you can see in the picture uh, this is our very first donor in 2011 who donated his blood stem cells he was working as an engineer at google india and uh, he donated his blood stem cells at chennai then we had only one partner hospital which was at chennai so he went to Chennai all the way from Delhi and uh, donated his blood stem cells. And once the stem cells are donated, they are stored in a temperature control box and they are made reach to the patient's location. So these are some of the real life heroes who have donated their blood stem cells to save some, uh, someone's life. So I have shared all these stories with you. Uh, one is Dr. Shruti, the, the lady in the yellow t-shirt is Dr. Shruti and Vanshika. Vanshika was diagnosed with uh, thalassemia. Uh, the little Sardar you see is uh, Fateh from Amritsar. He was, uh, Nawal Chaudhary was found to be a match uh, with him. And uh, Fateh is now leading absolutely normal life. Dr. Shruti is continuously supporting us. In donor counseling, if donor has some questions, in fact, yesterday only two of my donors were counseled by Dr. Shruti. So she is continuously by uh, us to support in, uh, support us in counseling and solving the donor's queries. This are a few more um, superheroes who have donated their lives. Uh, some of the celebrities like uh, VVS Lakshman sir, Milin Soman, uh, Shankar Mahadevan, Ravina Tandan, Raja Mali sir, all of them have, actor Prasanna, all of them have registered with us as a voluntary blood stem cell donor and they are actively supporting our cause. These are some of the institutes where we have registered highest number of donors. Uh, so as you can see, it's all from South India. We have uh, done those donor registration drives in all IITs, all IIMs. In fact, for last two years, I have been going to IIM Amritsar to conduct the donor registration drive. Bits Pilani, Nirma University, these are all our biggest supporters. These are some of the patients uh, who are in need. These are all diagnosed with thalassemia who are in need of a blood stem cell donor. Apart from this patient, Currently, we have two female patients, as I said in the beginning of the session. One is Amina Sultana. She is diagnosed with aplastic anemia. It's non-malignant, but yes, I mean, she is diagnosed with severe aplastic anemia and she is in urgent need of blood stem cell donor. The other is, uh, I would not like to share her name because the parents have requested us not to share the name, but she is a 17-year-old girl from Haryana and she has been diagnosed with ALL, acute lymphoblastic leukemia and uh, she is in, she is right now writing her class 12 exam but she is in urgent need of a blood stem cell donor so that she can pursue her graduation after her transplant. So it's my humble request that all of you register for these children as well as from Amita, Amina and the other patient so that we can help them finding their match donor. These are some of the donors who have donated their blood stem cells at TMC Ludhiana. In the very first picture, uh, it's Dr. Shruti who was donating, who donated her blood stem cells at TMC Ludhiana. Then uh, in the center is my, my interest. He is Abhijit Kunde from Chandigarh University who donated his blood stem cells at the end of second wave of COVID. That is, he donated his blood stem cells on 31st March 2021. And uh, uh, now Abhijit is working as active volunteer with us in Saharanpur. Whatever work I have, I just have to call Abhijit and my work gets done. 
so uh, he's not only my brand ambassador but uh, he's a uh, extremely wonderful volunteer for datri and again there are some other donors uh, either they are donating or they have been like given the appreciation certificate and all so it's my humble request to all of you to join uh, datri and now i would like to uh, share a video show a video to you if let me see if i can uh, share it with sound uh, otherwise vamsi sir will play so uh, sir can you see my screen Hi, yes, now we can see. Hi, everyone. I'm Abhijit and I'm a stem cell donor. In 2021, I donated my stem cells and it's been three years since the donation and I feel fine absolutely. And as usual, I'm pursuing my study further and I impressed with the whole process so much that I got registered myself in Datri for volunteering. Now I'm a proud donor and a volunteer as well. Thank you. so i hope all of you could see that video otherwise vamsi sir will play it again and that way so thank you so much uh, over to you sir yes sir thank you thank you so much ma'am for your insightful lecture and uh, all students are eagerly they are they are listening and they are very interested ma'am and uh, will proceed thank you so much ma'am for your lecture thank you so i'm going to share uh, the volunteer registration link with you and amit as well as the volunteer competition uh, links with you so if they are interested in they can register and participate in it right thank you so much sir yes ma'am thank you so much